Donovan mentioned that uh, he, he kind of had some dark times in the summer because he, he wanted to be better than you. Like, yeah. He was battling you every day. You know? Yeah. You're a big, tough guy. You know? Yeah. You know, what, what was the, did you notice that off the court? And what was that sort of like you described it? Yeah, like I said, you know, I, like, first I met him, like, I remember, mean, like, he's thinking, like, you know me, I could definitely feel that this guy was, ah, uh, he was trying to, like, he was trying to show me I'm coming here to take your spot, you know what I mean? That's what he was, you know, I could definitely see that. But I had to humble him a little bit, you know what I mean? Like, I had to humble him, but, like, show him, like, ah, uh, like, there's, 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 you know what I mean? Like, you have to chill out a little bit, like, your, your time is coming, but, you know, but that was definitely good. Because if it, like, there's a lot of pressure when they see that, when they see, like, somebody's, like, in front of them, they won't give up, but they won't think, like, this guy's better than me, you know what I mean? There's not, like, I don't have, well, I have to go up. I don't have to go up because they're going to play, no, no matter what, they're going to play that other guy. But Donovan will never think like that because every day you want to fight, it don't matter if you, I'm starting or like, you know, if I'm playing good, you're going to always fight. So that's, that's definitely something that, uh, that's definitely something that I like from him. Like I don't remember one day that, like, he got mad because I, like, I was, like, killing on practice or something like that. Nah, 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 I don't remember that. Yeah, yeah, he always, it was every day, he was, every day he came to learn, you know, so. You're gonna, be like, you're gonna be a great player for sure. Yeah. How much, you know, for, for you personally, how much did that really change the way that you approach practice and approach the games now that you have that challenge? Yeah, definitely getting that challenge. I was like, uh, I didn't have time to like, definitely like, uh, to relax. So every day I'm thinking that, oh, this guy's coming to like, bust my ass, you know what I mean? Like, that's why his mindset to come and bust my ass every day. So like, so that's why I start going to the gym more. Cause I want to work for my, you know what I mean? I start like taking everything, every detail, like uh, every detail, like a little, little bit serious, you know what I mean? So I know like somebody's behind me who's ready to take my spot. So yeah, having like definitely make me sure, like having done then, uh, this thing, make sure like I was in a right, uh, right, uh, it, push, it pushed me to be in a right direction, yeah. Can you talk about how he's made you a better, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, you had Baker from dchicksandub.com. Adama, prior to this season, the three-point shot was not part of your game. Yeah. Like this year, you really developed in that. But, uh, was there any sort of benchmark or particular number of makes you had to have every day during the offseason? And just what was that process like for you to develop that for yeah, like you say, you know, like uh, be able to shoot was something that like I really want to do since I was in high school. I really want to shoot so far, you know. But I know, like I see, I watch NBA and I see all those big men shooting, you know, and I want to play in the NBA. So I was like, right, for me to be able to play there, I need to like work on those things, shooting, passing, all that stuff. So be able to shoot was something that I really want to do. You know, like I, like you said, fifth two year in college, I was not doing that, you know, because I. You know, I was afraid, you know, I was afraid and I didn't have like a technique, I didn't have a skill to do it. But that don't stop me to work on it. My freshman I remember my freshman year, uh after the season, like I went to Atlanta to see my high school coach. You know, we like I stayed there for like a month, just work on my form shouting. Like, just work on my form shot. I did the same thing my sophomore year, you know, like uh, I did that all the time, like uh, so last time you know, after watching some film like Work on my, uh, I work on the skill. I was able to like this year. You know, I was not nervous about it. I was like, all right, if I'm open, I'm like, you know, I'm taking it. So, yeah. yeah. Right here. Can you talk about how much Donovan's improved from day one until now, having to go against you at practice? Yeah, definitely. You know, like you said, me and me and him going each other against against each other every day in practice definitely helped him and they definitely helped me. Like because personally for me, like go against him helping me a lot because like uh. Uh, you know, confident we play against a lot of seven footers, so go against Donovan, come uh, help me to get ready for those guys. And I think he helped Donovan to go against me because, like, uh, like because of the way I'm skilled, you know, so you're gonna like, you're gonna help me to have like more skill, you know, be, be, a, best, uh, be a better big man, you know, and, uh, in the future for sure. And going against somebody of your physicality, which yeah. you, we obviously all know how physical the Big East is, so that right. that had to have helped them as well. Right, you know, like you said, you know, like uh, for, for you to be a big, a good big man in Big East, you have to be strong, you know, so. That's why me and Donovan like uh, we grew for each other. So. Yeah.